I'm doing is I'm taking a solitaire look at the Goblin Charbelcher combo in Classic. For those of you who aren't familiar with it, the the plan of the deck is to either generate enough storm copies of Empty the Warrens to overwhelm your opponent with the Goblin tokens, or to uh, generate seven mana, act or cast Charbelcher and activate it, hopefully doming your opponent for enough for enough to win. Uh, there's only two lands in the deck, so your chances of getting that, uh, getting getting lethal damage through with one Charbelcher activation is pretty good. But anyways, this is my opening hand. It's a Lion's Eye Diamond, two Elf Spirit Guides, you can see them right there, a Tender Wall, two Charbelchers, and a Lotus Petal. Uh, against most matchups, this is going to be a fairly good hand. Uh, you're going to be able to go off on turn one with the combo. Uh, but if you know your opponent's playing with a Force of Will or a Daze deck, something like Merfolk or Team America, you're not going to want to actually keep this hand, as it's not very good against them. Alright, so let's go ahead and play the Lotus Petal. Take the Petal, I have that green. Take the wall. Sacrifice that for two red. Let's go ahead and cast Metamorphos. We're going to add a red and a black. Hey, another Lion's Eye Diamond. I added a red and a black just in case I drew a Dark Ritual or a Cabal Ritual. Uh, that way, just so I can cast it. Let's go ahead and remove this two Spirit Guides. Cast Charbelcher. Sack a Diamond and target myself because there's no one else to. Now, the good thing about drawing the second Diamond is if I miss this turn, I can go ahead and win next turn with the Diamonds. And we've dealt myself uh, enough damage to negative 18. Eight, 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 eight. 